Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. I am Jordan Strack. We are inside the Huntington Center tonight. Packed the house behind me. It's absolutely incredible. On two days' notice, a walleye fan celebration here. Brandon Hawkins, uh, one of the top players in the ECHL all year long. When you look out here and you see this many fans coming to celebrate you guys, even after you didn't win the ultimate prize, what does that mean to you? I mean, we have, we have the best fans in the league. If there's no question about it. I've, I've played multiple places, and it's, it's just nowhere close to this. Um, for you guys, even though you didn't win the ultimate prize, when you look back on it, how special was this year with this group? It was big time. Like We have such a special group here that they made everything special for us in terms of the ownership group and the coaches and everything. We we showcased everything and got to enjoy each other, and it was, it was wonderful the whole way through. Um, how long does it take you to get over the heartbreak of, of a season and then kind of start focusing on next year? I mean, you try, you, you try to enjoy the moment before everybody goes home, so usually it's about a week or two, and then, and then you start focusing on the next year. So we'll see what happens. Um, you got out and played a little golf the last couple of days. How is your golf game, by the way? Uh, I'm like an 8-9 handicap. I'm all right. So you're, you're pretty good, though. Uh, yeah, on occasion. Okay, that's good. Uh, and how is the golf in Northwest Ohio compared to where you've been? Awesome. Like I, I grew up in Michigan, so it's not it's not too far off. Like playing Stone Ridge and Toledo Country Club and different things like that. It's it's a great time. Uh, humble brag, by the way. He told me he made five straight birdie putts in his scramble earlier today. I, I'll throw it, it in. Yesterday. Oh, sorry, yesterday. Sorry, yesterday. I'll throw it in if you didn't. Yeah, um, when you look back, how much fun is this group? And to be able to come back and celebrate with them one more time, put a bow on this thing. How cool is it? It's it's awesome, especially to to be able to hang out with Henny and Albert a couple more times. You never know what happens in the end. They could be at the end of their careers, and you don't you don't see what goes on next year. So hopefully they both come back, and and we'll we'll see. One more year. One more year. That was yeah. You everybody one won. One more year. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love that. Last thing I'm going to ask you, um, it sounds like you're going to play, be playing some inline hockey this summer. Uh, wh why play the inline hockey and how does that translate? So it translates big time offensively, but overall I'm playing in uh, the Olympic trial games for Team USA. So this is in hopes to, in, in two years, bring roller hockey into the Olympics. So we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, we, we get a pretty good team here in, in the U.S., so it'll, it'll be great. Awesome. Go out there and celebrate with these guys. Thank you. All right, that's Brandon Hawkins, one of the top players in the ECHL, the Walleye leading scorer all year long. The fans are here celebrating this team. It is going to be an incredible night uh, to be able to say goodbye to these guys after an awesome year, and we'll have much more coming tonight at 10 and 11. But for now, that's it for sports, and we'll be right back.